हेलो वी वी मेस फ्रेंड्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट वीरबल साहनी हिज फैमिली बैकग्राउंड एंड हिज प्राइमरी एजुकेशन एंड हायर एजुकेशन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट हिज वर्क इन पेलियो वॉटनी बिफोर स्टार्ट his research work we discuss about the fossils and paleobotany field of professor sahani let's start it first we know about the paleobotany what is the meaning of paleobotany paleobotany is the combination of two words paleo and botany paleo means paleo is the greek word paleo is the greek word sorry paleo is derived from greek word paleos its meaning is ancient paleo means ancient and botany botany related to plants that is what is the meaning of paleo botany paleo botany refers to the studying finding and identifying ancient plants preserved in rocks as fossils means the plants ancient plants present in rocks as fossils we study in under the paleobotany now about fossils fossils gives the knowledge about past vegetation to learn about the climate of that time fossils present in the rocks tells about the climate of that time what type of climate at that time how example vegetation of place depends on climate like pointed and conical leaves at high altitude thorny vegetation at deserts and plants with broad leaves in tropical areas conical and pointed leaf plants are found at high altitude and thorny plants in deserts and plants with broad leaves in tropical areas so this prove that the climate affects the vegetation that is found in that areas fossils are almost found in sedimentary rocks fossils are found in sedimentary rocks and it tells us about the age of that sediment A study of coal indicates the type of vegetation that evolved in that evolved into coal that evolved into coal professor sahani referred fossil fuels time machine as it upholds the forgotten past means fossil tells about the forgotten past so professor sahani referred fossils as the time machine it gives information about past fossils mainly formed in two ways first in the form of compression and second is in the form of impression compression means recovering of organic matter with some distortions in this type we found organic matter with some distortion but in impression form no organic matter found but its impression is seen in this type no organic matter found but that impression is found next some fossils are formed in the form of pollen grains and spores some fossils are found in pollen grains and spores these are the two reproductive parts of the plants um, advanced plants have pollen grains and primitive plants have the uh, spores spores are smaller than pollen grains spores are smaller and pollen grains are bigger the pollen grains have very tough outer layer that is exine outer layer of the pollen grains is called exine made up made of a polymer called sporopollenin sporopollenin 
is the material by which the outer layer of pollen grains formed. Exine is chemically very strong. Paleo pollen grains have identifiable unique shape and unique surface feature for each plant seen by scanning electron microscope. Means paleo pollen that is the ancient pollen grains have identifiable their surface features and unique shape for different plants. Different plants have different pollen grains. The branch in which pollen grains and spores are isolated and identified is termed as palynology or paleopalynology. The branch in which pollen grains and spores are isolated and identified. When all organic material inside cell is replaced by silica, silica termed as petrification fossils. This is important. When organic matter is replaced by silica uh, in the process of time, then that type of uh, uh, fossils are petrification fossils. Places in which petrified wood fossils are formed in India are as follows. These places are Dindori, Mandala and Sioni in Madhya Pradesh, Bolpur in West Bengal, Rajmahal Hills in Jharkhand, Jaisalmer in Rajasthan. At these places, the petrified wood formed. Track fossils are formed by movement of organisms. And there are some tracks are formed as a fossils. These fossils, track fossils made by the movement of organisms. Dinosaur's poop, that is coprolite, is an example to prove that grass exists about six and a half crore years ago. Fossils of different plants found at places in India. Fossils of different plants at different places found in India. The places are as Jackfruit in Chindwara, MP, Madhya Pradesh, around 6.5 crore, crore years ago, and this is placed in the uh, BSIP, Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleo Botany Museum in Lucknow. Custard apple, that is also called the Sarifa, engraved on the temples, balls of Sanchi and Mathura, seeds from Seeds of uh, custard apple are found from Shanghoi, Punjab, Mirjapur, Sonbhadra, Uttar Pradesh, approximately 3000 years ago. Eucalyptus believed to come from Australia, but fossils found uh, 6.5 crores years ago. We had the cultivation of grapes approximately 2300 to 1500 years before Christ on the basis of wood and seed. Wood and seed are found as a fossil. Evidence of Mehendi, Chameli, Parzat during Harappan civilization. Harappan civilization, these plants also found. More than 2500 years ago, use of Rita, Soapberry and Amla, Indian gooseberry was prevalent in southern India. In southern India, these are used uh, at very large scale. Most uh, of coal in India is found in from found from Gondwana period and spread in Jharkhand, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh and Eastern UP. This is the uh, learn about the fossils and paleobotany. Now, we discuss about the teacher per excellence of Professor Sahani. Professor Sahani joined VHU as professor after returning from England in 1919. In 1920, first after returning from England, he joined the VHU as a professor. In 1920, Virval married to Savitri, daughter of father's close friend. Mr. Sundar Das Suri. In 1921, he moved to Lucknow and take responsibility of heading the department of botany. He guided 16 students during their doctoral degree. 
आफ्टर वी एच यू ही ज्वाइन द लखनऊ यूनिवर्सिटी एंड बिकम द एच ओ डी ऑफ बॉटनी डिपार्टमेंट प्रोफेसर साहनी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड पैलियो वाटनी एज ए स्पेशल पेपर फॉर एम एस सी स्टूडेंट्स कैम्ब्रिज यूनिवर्सिटी यू के डिसाइडेड टू कन्फर हिम डिग्री ऑफ डी एस सी इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन ही स्टेब्लिश द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी इन लखनऊ यूनिवर्सिटी नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री दिज वर्क आर एज ए टीचर एंड नाउ वी डिस्कस हिज रिसर्च he has done his research work with professor ac e. seward in england uh, professor ac e. Se seward is the guide of professor sahni he supported wagner's theory of continental drift with paleo botany cal evidence he supported the wagner's theory he combined archaeology and botany that is archaeobotany to study the ancient civilization he study kariwa sediments in jammu and kashmir at 800 to 1800 meters high the kariwa sediments at this height is formed at fossils formed that is are aquatic but the observation leads to success leads to success because lake originally at lower elevation but it uplifted due to some geological activities that is tectonics the fossils found on the kariwa um, at this height first it was at lower height and after the some geological activities it is uplifted and it, so this is the evidence of for the tectonics tectonics means the movement of the earth plates professor sahni also took interest in study of coins that is the branch of study of coins is numismatics and other artifacts he stumbled upon a collection of coin molds at haryana while hunting for fossils and reported research as a clay seal and sealing of sung period from khokra coat mound this is the research paper he published on um, coins found at the khokra and he published a monograph on the techniques of coin making in ancient india how coins are made in ancient india he also monograph published in 1941 he published another paper that is yudhya coin mold from sunet near ludhiana in satlas valley he was honored a medal from numismatic society of india he revised the book originally written by lawson for this he got 24 sorry 20 sterling pounds he conducted frequent trips to raj mahal hills jharkhand and kariwa sediments in jammu and kashmir for the collection of fossils these two sites are very important in their life raj mahal hills in jharkhand and kariwa sediments in jammu and kashmir in 1952 he got fund of rupees 4000 for fossil cutting machine he has no specialized machine he cut by a string wo fossil he carried out everything to study fossil like an air thing these are the different techniques to use uh, to do the sections of the fossils first it an unearthing carrying them back break down cutting grinding polishing or photographing it is not easy to make sections of fossils because sedimentary rocks are more fragile than igneous rocks sedimentary rocks are formed uh, uh, under the deposition of sediments at high temperature and pressure and igneous rocks formed by the cooling of lava the fossils may be in the form of 
petrified wood or chert which is almost pure silica these petrified wood fossils are very important this is formed by the replacing organic matter by silica thank you